we're going to take a little walk with this uh, T Knight TN15. Walk along the back side of my uh, barn here. The, uh, zoom out so you can see better. The uh, modes on this start with a very dim, which you can barely see it, dot, which is uh, in the neighborhood of like 10, 12 lumen, which, although it doesn't show up on camera, you can actually navigate by it. You know, just walking around the backyard, it's bright enough to uh, to see what I'm doing. Next mode up goes to that, like, I think 50 lumen range. As you can see, it's a, quite a bit brighter. Nice little hot spot with a uh, big spill around it. We go up, of course, you're in the 300 lumen. Very bright. You see it kind of washes things out here. You can see very well. Now we're talking 600 lumens. Very bright. The area of spill gets uh, quite a bit bigger. Here we are at the end of the old uh, barn here. Take a look. You can see there's my uh, fire pit, which is probably about uh, 30 yards away. And there is the 1000 lumen turbo mode. Very, very cool. As you can see, we can really see up into the trees. And it spills enough where you can see the area around it. So if you are walking, you can definitely uh, see where you're going. Let's take a walk over here. And, uh, take a look at my apple trees. They're right here. But yeah, 1000 lumens. Very, very bright. You know, very good for hunting. You could use this for raccoon or whatever. This uh, this pretty much lights up the whole forest. Let's just put it that way. The spill, you know, even at your feet is uh, quite a few feet. But as you spread it out, it lights up a good 20, 30, you know, yards around you. All right, so we'll cycle through these once more. This is the uh, light mode. Like I said, you can't see it much on camera, but... I could walk around out here without breaking my neck. Next mode's pretty decent. It, it, the spill doesn't show. It's just showing the white center. But uh, this would be very good for uh, just going for a walk. You know, we needed that extra little bit of light. You know, of course, once you're getting brighter here, you're really, I would have no problems <laughs> going into the deep dark woods for hunting at this mode. And of course, it gets brighter and brighter. I mean, it really does. You can really see up into the trees. If you were hunting for raccoons or something, and there's something in the woods right there that is spooked up, <laughs> you would have no problems at all. So we got something in there. It'd be awesome if we could see something. I think it's scattered. Here's the back end of my barn. And then uh, we're going to head back in and uh, bring in the tabletop. Hey guys, if you're still here, obviously you just got done watching my Through Night TN15 kind of backyard walk with the flashlight. So now that we're here at the tabletop, let's go through some numbers real quick. This is, as I said, the uh, Through Night TN15. It uses a Cree XML LED which, uh, you know, pretty standard, modern LED. It uh, uses either one or two 18650 batteries or two to four CR123s. And how it does that is that this metal chamber can be unscrewed and removed so you can use either uh, the whole thing or part of it, which is kind of neat. If you're looking for something a little more compact, take out that middle piece, bam, you're good to go. Maybe it's this piece. I can't remember which one comes out. One of them comes out. <laughs> um, all right, let's get back to the numbers here. Um, waterproof to IPX8 standards, which is 1.5 meters. Shockproof. It says the uh, maximum beam distance is about 515 meters. I only tested it out to about 50 yards, so what you're talking you know, about close to 50 meters there, and it had absolutely no problems at that distance at all. 
Um, weight, talking 294 grams. We'll convert that over to uh, ounces somehow. Um, everything is uh, waterproof, O-ring sealed, and uh, good to go. Now the modes, which is what I really want to go through because I know people always ask, is your Firefly mode is a third of a lumen <laughs> and will last for 62 days. So if you're using this as part of a survival kit or uh, something for a long-term hunting camp, that Firefly mode will last you literally two months. So if you want to spend your nights reading by the campfire or something like that, this thing, you could do that for two months. <laughs> uh, the next mode would be uh, low, which is just about 20 lumens, and that gives you 177 hours, which, once again, you're talking about literally like a week and a half of straight of being able to run it. Your medium mode is 266 lumens, which gives you about 10 hours. So you could essentially run this thing on medium for an entire night at 262 lumens, which is plenty bright. High is 652 lumens, and that'll give you just about 200 minutes, so you're talking about three hours on high. Your turbo mode is 975 lumens, and your runtime on that is just about two hours. And uh, strobe mode, 975 lumens. 226 minutes, which you're talking about four hours there. And of course, those will depend on the kind of batteries you're using, the quality of the batteries, and whether you're using all of them or just one of the chambers. Function on this is very simple. End cap, plastic end cap, turns it on. Side switch cycles through the modes. As you know, there are the four modes. Or two, three, four, five modes, and then if you hold that side button in, it gives you strobe. It has a memory function, so if you want it to be on a certain mode, it will come back, which is good, because especially if you're out in the woods, say you're setting up deer camp, and uh, you don't want to blast a huge bright uh, light out there and lose your night vision, you can set this on a lower mode, that way if you got to get something out of your pocket or whatever, you know, you got that memory uh, mode. This is a uh, weapon rated light, which I thought was excellent. When I was talking to Through Night, that's kind of how this whole thing began, was I kind of said, hey, I'm looking for a, a weapon light, and I don't think you guys have any, and they were like, nope, we do in fact, it's the TN-15. It uh, comes with a tail switch, which works pretty good. I kind of... Uh, Put it on my shotgun and just kind of wander around the house a little bit. And uh, it's a bit heavy, guys. I mean, right off the bat, I'm going to be honest, it's a bit heavy to carry around on a gun. Um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to be trucking to the woods with that on there. But if you were putting this on for as a uh, defensive light to, uh, you know, kind of uh, homestead defense kind of thing, I think that would be just fine. But it's nothing I'm, I wouldn't want to march you know, a mile in the woods with that on my, on my gun. It is a bit heavy and does um, make the shotgun a little bit front heavy, of course, because it is uh, pretty heavy and plus it's got a, a pretty heavy front end as well because it is an, an all aluminum design. So bear that in mind if you are buying it for a weapon. Um, even with it shortened down to one of the containers, it still is uh, a little on the heavy side. The sheath is not bad at all. It's nylon. And it has a uh, belt loop in the back with Velcro and a, an actual button. And it goes in through the top and Velcros down. Very convenient. It uh, rides on the belt well. And if you're not using the extra chamber, it ends just below the bottom there. It's uh, pretty handy and keeps out of the way. So not bad at all. It also can hook that up to uh, Molly if you need to. I do like it. It is one of the better holsters on the market. A lot of them have really cheap uh, straps for your belt. You know, you got to worry about them falling off. And of course, the goodie bag. You know, through night, they always send you up with a goodie bag. This one comes with a kind of a wrist lanyard, a couple of O-rings. You got to remember, there's an O-ring like here, there's an O-ring like here and here. So there's three O-rings. So you get a couple of O-rings. There's also a replacement uh, tail switch for the back. And let's see, is there anything else in here? No, I think that's it. 
just the wrist lanyard, O-rings, and then the, the replacement tail switch. So that so it comes in your goodie bag. So there it is, guys. This is uh, quite an interesting little flashlight. Uh, you find these online for about $70. Not the cheapest flashlight on Earth, but what you're getting here is something with a really high capacity. Now, we all know, we all have, like, the little flashlights, the little pocket flashlights, and they can produce six, seven, eight hundred lumens just like this, but their run times are typically... 45 minutes or so and even then you're losing half your brightness at like 20 minutes so it is nice to have a uh, a full-size flashlight like this available to you I do like the fact that it breaks down to a smaller version this is something you're probably gonna see this again in videos down the line I do want to bring this out hunting and kind of show you like literally because lots of times I go in like 4 in the morning it's pitch black you're trying to follow you know a, a pretty crappily marked trail get to your spot set up so I think I want to do that do some videos with this just kind of showing you how uh, typically when I went hunting I would always bring like a little pocket flashlight but I'd also keep something larger in my pack like this uh, defiant one it's a cheap Home Depot it's got about the same amount of lumens it's like a 700 lumen flashlight but the only difference is it has one mode and it doesn't shorten down at all it doesn't come with a holster and you can't put it on a weapon if you want so what I want to do though is kind of give you an idea. Uh, I think I left my scale over here on weight. I know we're going way too long in this video, here, but I think it's kind of important to see what you get when you do buy a quality light. You know, when you buy a a uh, sixty dollar light versus a twenty dollar light, you are talking twelve and three quarters of an ounce. So less than a pound, one pound, three ounces, and three quarters. So that's the beauty of a flashlight like this. Not only are you getting a better product that's better waterproofing, better shock resistance, tougher, it's going to last longer, you know, even though these have the same amount of lumens, you know, these things are pretty much equal. They're about, you know, I think this Defiant is like 800, so I mean, they're within 100 of each other. But what do you get for that 70 bucks? Like I said, you get the waterproofing, you get the shock resistance, you get the different modes, you get the longer run time. There's so much more that you get. Not that this $20 flashlight's garbage, but when it comes down to it, and I'm wandering through the woods, I want to make sure I have quality. And the through night flashlights, being I've had them now for about a year and not one has failed me, no matter how rough I've been on them, I have a lot of faith in them. And... This thing is definitely going to be a big part of my hunting setup this year. And uh, if I do any coyote hunting or anything like that, I'm hoping to uh, maybe slap this thing onto one of the rifles and uh, see how she works. So there it is, guys, the TN-15. Uh, fantastic full-size flashlight. And uh, I know it's expensive for a lot of people, but in the end, you know, the saying goes, buy once, cry once. I've bought in over the years handfuls of flashlights like this. Spent 20 bucks, I don't know, maybe 8, 10 times of my life and had these flashlights just eventually die at some point. You know, I'm, I'm glad I have a product that is uh, going to last. You know, it's not something that's going to be thrown away in a couple of years. So that's what you get when you do buy. And through night, you know, being they don't have a, uh, a middleman selling these, they sell direct to the customer. You do get a fantastic price for the money compared to a lot of the competition that uses a middleman that's also getting profits along the way. So there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed.